Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Brandon Clements and welcome back to another video here on Glass Hand. Today I have a really fast quick tip to show you on uh, what seems to be weird smearing and motion blur. And the uh, interesting thing about this uh, appearing in the editor, it's not so bad once you jump into play mode. Um, we'll go ahead and jump to play mode. And you can see here that there's, theory, there's still some smearing. It looks a little bit weird, uh, especially off in the distance. Uh, you can start to see those trees trying to like blend together. And it doesn't look as clear as uh, what we would think it would be. Uh, by the way, I am using the Rural Australia map. Uh, I love this map just to come in and test different foliage and different render settings. So I noticed this and I thought it was kind of annoying and I thought it was the temporal super resolution uh, that was causing some of this smearing to happen, uh, to happen in the viewport in the project. Um, but I actually found out that it's a it's actually a velocity pass uh, issue. So if you go to your project settings and you go down to rendering and you scroll all the way down to optimizations, there's a rollout called optimizations that is right here. I'm going to set my velocity pass. I'm going to write this during the base pass and then we're going to have to restart. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so our shaders did have to recompile for that to take effect. And you can still see and notice in the editor that it looks kind of weird. And if I jump into play mode again uh, and start running around, it might look a little bit better. Um, but still in the distance, I don't know if you can see where some of those darker trees are, where it's kind of dark, but still looking a little bit blurry. So um, there's one other setting that we can enable uh, if we come back to rendering. And then output velocity due to vertex deformation. And we want to go ahead and turn that on. And immediately in the editor viewport, it looks so much better. It looks so much nicer. And uh, in this Australia pack, there is this snake. And he's animated through world position offset as well. And if you were to look at this before, he would have looked really smeary on his tail and on his head. But now you can see that everything looks really nice in the editor. And if I jump into play mode and let the assets kind of load in, uh, you can start to see that it's it looks a lot better. Um, it's starting to look more like motion blur. And uh, it's not looking as smeary <laughs> as it was before. So, yeah, definitely something to check out. Uh, look at those two project settings in the rendering tab for your project because it was driving me nuts when I was looking at it. It just looks so weird. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, and if you have any other suggestions for videos, please post them in the comment section below. I do read all of the comments on all the videos, and I try to answer as many as I possibly can. So I do appreciate you guys asking questions and getting involved with the channel. And if you enjoyed this quick tip and it actually helped you in your project, go ahead and leave me a like on this video. Uh, since I'm putting this on YouTube, I pretty much have to say that on every video. It's just what you do on YouTube. So thanks so much, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.